Binance has replaced the Binance USD holdings in its secure asset fund for users with Truist and Tether. This is in response to Paxos' recent decision to stop minting new bust. Binance assured users that their funds will continue to be held in publicly verifiable addresses and that bust will still be supported. The move has raised some questions in the crypto community about whether the SEC is targeting Binance. They have only taken action against Bust and not Paxos Gold backed stablecoin, Pax Gold. This article provides an overview of Binance's decision to replace Binance US holdings in its secure asset fund for users with Truist and Tether. The move comes in response to Paxos' recent decision to stop minting new Bust and the subsequent drop in Bust market capitalization. Binance has reassured users that the change will not impact them and that Bust will still be supported. The article also examines the recent SEC action against Bust and the crypto community speculation that the move may be targeting Binance. Overall, the article provides an up-to-date account of Binance's activity and its implications for the cryptocurrency industry. Gox hack and the launch of Libra 2023 is proving to be a pivotal year for the crypto space, with many events that could potentially affect the crypto market. These include Ethereum's transition to proof-of-stake, the release of coins recovered from the Mt. Gox hack, and the launch of Libra. Gox hack, and the increasing influence of traditional finance on the crypto market. There is also uncertainty surrounding the future of fiat-backed stablecoins, which may lead to the adoption of algorithmic stablecoins. Additionally, banks are making it increasingly difficult for people to purchase crypto. This could lead to the crypto industry needing to offer stability and security for its assets. This article evaluates the potential impact of several major events in 2023 on the crypto market. These events include the Ethereum Shanghai upgrade, the return of Bitcoin from the Mt. Gox hack, macroeconomic conditions, and the failure of Silicon Valley Bank and its effect on USDC and DAI. It is suggested that the current regulatory landscape and instability of traditional banking could lead to increased adoption of crypto, but also that true believers need to build a secure and stable ecosystem in order for this to happen. John Deaton, a pro-Ripple lawyer and founder of Crypto Law, took a subtle jab at Jim Cramer for his faulty Bitcoin advice. The Bitcoin price has risen since Cramer issued his take and Deaton thanked him for giving him the confidence to buy Bitcoin. The lead cryptocurrency surpassed the $27,000 mark, reaching intraday highs of $27,780. Deaton believes this period might be Bitcoin's moment when history books are written. John Deaton's tweet highlights the growing sentiment that Jim Cramer's advice on Bitcoin may not be the most reliable. Despite Cramer's loss of faith in cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin's price has continued to rise and is currently trading close to its all-time highs. Deaton's jab at Cramer is likely a reference to the fact that many crypto enthusiasts interpreted Cramer's take on Bitcoin as a buy signal, and have benefited from it. Additionally, the Federal Reserve's decision to inject billions into the economy has bolstered the crypto markets and may potentially be the spark that sets off Bitcoin's ascent to even higher highs. Bitcoin has seen an impressive 66% year-to-date growth, adding $194 billion in market capitalization in 2023. This significantly outperforms the top Wall Street Bank stocks, which have lost nearly $100 billion in market valuation since the start of the year. The worst performer being Bank of America's stock with a 17% YTD drop. Bitcoin has decoupled from US stocks and is seen by some investors as a hedge against systemic risks. Similar to how it reacted during banking collapses in Cyprus and Greece, where its price gained up to 5,000% and 150% respectively. This article provides an interesting perspective on the performance of Bitcoin compared to the top Wall Street banks during a time of financial crisis. Despite the US banking system facing a regional collapse, Bitcoin's market capitalization has grown by $194 billion in 2023 and has decoupled from US stocks for the first time in a year. Meanwhile, the six largest US banks have lost nearly $100 billion in market value since the start of the year. The article also highlights Bitcoin's performance in similar financial crises in Cyprus and Greece, noting that its price grew by up to 5,000% and 150%, respectively. While the article does not offer investment advice, it does provide an intriguing insight on Bitcoin's potential to act as a hedge against systemic risks. The activation of Shapele on the Ethereum unit is a de-risking factor. This could result in more ETH being locked in staking contracts, potentially increasing the supply locked up by 100 to 
this could mitigate panic selling and create more stability in the Ethereum crypto market. The article provides a comprehensive overview of Ethereum's impending activation of the Chappella upgrade and its potential effects. It is clear that while many ETH holders may be fearful of a potential panic sell-off, in reality the activation of Chappella may bring more stability to the Ethereum market due to the opportunity to unstake Etheron makes staking more risk-free. Furthermore, the article provides insight into the current state of Ethereum staking and how it is lagging behind other Ethereum killers such as Cardano and Solana. Overall, the article paints a clear picture of the potential effects of Chappella's activation on Ethereum. The Howey test is a legal test used to determine whether a transaction qualifies as an investment contract. Thus, it is considered a security under federal law. It involves three criteria that must be met for a transaction to be classified as a security. These criteria are a financial investment, a shared enterprise, and an expectation of gains from the efforts of others. Compliance with the Howey test is important for crypto businesses and investors. Failure to comply can result in penalties, legal action and reputational harm. The Howey test is a legal test used to determine whether a transaction qualifies as an investment contract and, thus, is considered a security under federal law. A transaction is deemed a security if it meets the criteria of an investment of funds in a group venture with the expectation of profits from the efforts of others. The implications of the Howey test for cryptocurrency are significant, as it provides a framework for determining whether a particular cryptocurrency offering should be classified as a security under U.S. law. Tokens that do not pass the Howey test are considered utility tokens, but the SEC has suggested that the presence of a utility token framework does not necessarily mean that a project is exempt from being classified as a security. Cryptocurrency companies need to be aware of the federal securities laws in the United States to ensure compliance with them. This article provides a thorough overview of the Howey test and its implications for cryptocurrency companies. It explains the three criteria that must be met in order for a transaction to qualify as a security, discusses the implications of the Howey test for cryptocurrency, and provides important information about federal securities laws. The article is informative and well-researched, making it a valuable resource for anyone looking to learn more about the Howey test and its implications for cryptocurrency.